Yo, join the community guys. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and thumbs this video up if you're happy to enjoy the video. You know what I notice? When it comes to Anthony Joshua, it seems that everybody always tries to outprice themselves. Everybody that they want to see AJ fight, you know, the guys that are that AJ supposedly uh, ducking, all these, you know, big boogeymans, they always try to outprice themselves. You got Dillian White saying that Eddie Hearn got to offer him something, you know, massive. He ain't fighting AJ unless Eddie Hearn offers him a real deal, not this nonsense, terrible deal. There's got to be more, way more than what he made against Derek Chisora. One of my subscribers told me he made $5 million, so I'm assuming he's asking for $8 million, $10 million, I don't know. You got Tyson Fury saying that he's not going to fight Anthony Joshua unless he gets 50-50 of the purse, 50% of the purse. And many of uh, of my subscribers told me that Tyson Fury is not worth no you know, 50% of uh, the boxing earnings of the purse of uh, you know, basically he wants a 50-50 split. Then you got Deontay Wilder. <laughs> you got Deontay Wilder who's saying the same goddamn thing basically as, Ant as uh, excuse me, as uh, Tyson Fury. Saying that he wants a, you know, 50-50 split. He wants an even. Even though he hasn't, he, he, he fought once on pay-per-view. Even though that one time he fought on pay-per-view, it was absolute trash. It did, it did horrible numbers. Even though, you know, he he can't sell out uh, a crowd, a stadium. What am I talking about, a stadium? He's never fighting no goddamn stadium. He can't sell out a, a, a boxing arena in his home goddamn uh, hometown of Alabama. When he fights in, in the in the legacy arena in Alabama over there, he can't sell that, that place out. But he feels, you know, he's never, he has no fan base that go crazy of him that, Generate him, you know, 20. This man has not has never even made 10 million. 10 million. Yet this guy's demanding 50 50 per split. Right? And the same thing could be said about Tyson Fury, to be honest with you. So you got these three guys. And and by the way, Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, and Dillian White are the three guys that people are now claiming that Anthony Joshua is afraid of them. Yeah, all these three guys are the ones pricing themselves out. You know what that tells me? That tells me that all three of these guys know how much of a threat and a risky fight Anthony Joshua is. Dillian White, Tyson Fury, Deontay the Bronx, Bomber Wilder, all three of these fellas know how big of a risk this fight is. They know they could lose to Anthony Joshua. So you know what they do? They try to take fully advantage of it, of this fight. And they say, no, I'm only going to fight Anthony Joshua if I get this certain amount of money. Why? Because if I go in there and if I get a low percentage of money and then I get knocked the fuck out in two rounds, well, guess what? That's the highest amount of money I'm probably ever going to receive in my entire career. And now I can't get a rematch because I fucking lost and got embarrassed and destroyed in two rounds. But let's say they try and milk the fight. Right, they try to make milk this fight, and they demand a certain amount of money, a ridiculous amount of money. And then, let's say Eddie Hearn, you know, accepts this ridiculous amount of money and says, "All right, we're gonna make the fight happen." Even if they get knocked out in two rounds, guess what? They still made this ridiculous amount of money that they didn't really deserve it in the first place, right? So that's all it is. Dillian White, Tyson Fury, and uh, Deontay Wilder all know that Anthony Joshua is a risky fight for them. They know they could get. Knock the fuck out. They they're not a hundred. Excuse me. They're not a hundred percent confident in themselves that they could beat Anthony Joshua. And this is why they always try and price themselves out. Every, I'm telling you, man. It's not even a joke. Every time somebody fights, wants to fight Anthony Joshua, they they ask for so much money. Right? They're just trying to take advantage of it. All right? They're trying to milk the. They're trying to milk it. They're trying to milk the this fight, this opportunity with AJ. Because they know they can make. Because they know he's a massive jaw. So they know they could probably demand a lot of money because he's going to be generating a lot of money. 
So they take advantage of that. And they know that this is a very risky fight. So, yo, yo, let, let, let's let demand a lot of money. So I really can't, uh, you know, you know, I, you know, I, I get it. I would be doing the same thing if I'm fighting Anthony Joshua. I'd be like, yo, you're probably going to knock me out in two rounds, AJ. You're probably going to knock me out in two rounds. So, you know what? Give me $10 million to fight. I'll fight you. You knock me out in 30 seconds. I won't last two rounds against AJ, man. You'll knock me out in 30 seconds. But at least I got that 10 million. Right? And this is how a lot of these fighters feel. Anyway, guys, so I have to say thanks for watching the video. Subscribe to this channel if you're new to the channel. And thumbs the video up if you happen to enjoy the video, guys. Much appreciated if you watched it from start to finish. Bye-bye.